Mit Paulia. You can if you think you can. You can if you think you can. Jerry McQualia. And I'll repeat it one more time. You can if you think you can. Back in the 70s, when I was in my living alone in my early 20s, feeling sorry for myself, all of my girlfriends had boyfriends, my sisters were already getting married, and I was there in my apartment living alone and also going to a job that I hated every day. For inspiration, I went down to the local bookstore and checked the shelves looking for my, to find my inspiration. And that's when I found Norman Vincent Peale's book, Power of Positive Thinking. I also found, came across John Maxwell's book, Dare to Dream. I bought both books, and they forever changed the way my brain thought. So I went home, and that night, I started reading each book and getting, digesting the information, and I would go to sleep, and I would let my mind wander and dream. And one of the first things I figured out was I don't belong working in a clerical world with a bad manager who only wanted to suppress people. I went and quit my job. I also kept thinking about, okay, dare to dream. What the back cover of the book said, what, the man, what your mind can conceive and believe, it will achieve. I kept that in my mind. So as time went by, I got more and more clear that clerical work was not for me. I needed to find something else. Luckily, I got a phone call from my brother-in-law who said, I want you to come work in the auction business with me. We need somebody. From, I said, okay, why not? What that brought was enjoyment in my life. Why? Because I was learning new stuff. I was learning about all these beautiful antiques. I was, he gave me wings, you know, he gave me my wings to spread. And I was able to catalog for the auctions, work the floor, talk to the clients that came in, and also got to finally go to New York and see what was, <coughs> New York was about. We'd go on a trip to scavenger in the antique places in New York so that we could pull new product, new treasures for our next auction. That went on really well. I was happy with it until the late 70s and the crash of the market where the auction world people no longer had cash to use. So the next thing that my brother-in-law wanted to do, he's kind of a creative guy, he wanted to get into the vending business. It was the time when Pac-Man and all those machines were getting very, very popular, but he wanted to do the novelties. He wanted to build something himself. He said, I want you in this with me. We need to get it up on the ground. I did, and we did, and I ended up for the next couple years, I, tra I was traveling in to different trade shows. And I found that I was actually pretty good at selling. And so I enjoyed it for a while until I got burnt down while the traveling. What I, in my mind, I said, what's my next thing? What's my next thing? And I decided that I wanted to pursue sales and marketing. I wanted to work for a company then. And I found that a security systems company was looking for his VP of sales and marketing was looking for a new assistant. I went and got that job. I really liked the place. It gave me room to spread my wings. The only thing I didn't like is the job was for $30,000 a month, and that was it. I needed more. So what I did is I dreamt that 
I was going to figure something out that I would be doing so good for the company that they would be forced to want to give me a raise. What I did one afternoon when my boss went to visit our San Francisco office, this thing in my mind, I rewrote the marketing plan of what we were doing. We had new products coming in and they were still doing things the old way. I jotted down everything in my thoughts. My boss called that day to find out what was going on and he said, he asked me what was going on. I said, it's quiet, but I, I had a new idea about the way we should change our marketing plan. Would you be open to look at it? He said, fax it to him. In those days, you only use fax machines. Mm -hmm. I faxed it to him. Monday morning, he came around. He called me in his office, and he said, I really liked what you did. I, uh, he had already talked to our CEO to tell him he wanted to implement my plan. He already talked to the director of personnel. And he said, I'm gathering the sales managers together, and I'm going to talk to them about this plan. The only thing is, I can't tell them it was your idea, because they'll probably reject it. <laughs> so I said, that's fine. What ended up happening is they did implement my plan, and I ended up getting, my salary went from 30000 to 50000 Doesn't sound so great in these days, but back in the 90s it was. And also bonuses and incentives. I ended up leaving that job after a while. And I finally, the day finally came where I met my, I'll get choked up, <laughs> where I met my soulmate and got married at the age of 44. <laughs> and I've been living happily ever after since. And I will never allow a negative thought to come in my mind. If it does, I just tell my brain to cancel it. In closing, I'd like to remind you, you can if you think you can. <laughs>